So, there I was, whisk in hand, and enough women to stun a horse. His wife said The world is a beautiful place and worth fighting for, don't you think? So, there. Do you remember the heist we pulled in Tyron? Ah, those were the days. So, there. Jonesy? The RQ, what is it? I was the one who borrowed your kerchief. There, I've said it. I knew it! You told me it was stolen by a circus, you liar! No, no, it was a circus. I was joking all the way. <laughs> Tell me about Scott. Uh, you know, and Jonesy. It, it always makes me cry. The king destroyed it. Oh, bunny old Scotland! After we steal from the rich, we give to the poor. Whose idea was that? Poor people, I presume. <laughs> G. 
Jones, you really have no manners at all. Ah, sorry lads, it's those beans Rexus was cooking. Hi there, Henry. Uh, not tonight, Jean. I've already had one. Rome, praise the weaving baskets I found you. It's that arrow through the head, guy. Rome, there is something you must know. You are more than just a great basket weaver. Well, thank God for that, eh? What the bloody hell is he on about? Hang on. Let's have a bit of fun. Uh, yes, yes. You are right, oh wise one. For I, Roman, have weaved many baskets in my time. Some large, some small. And others, uh, well, they were kind of in between with oversized handles. And these, these were the best, <gasps> for they could be inverted and holes cut out for eyes and then used as an helmet in battle. Oh, many great wars were made victorious with the help of these basket helmets. How am I doing? Don't uh, know. I think you just confused him. Uh, yes. Although I am not aware of this history, I knew the book was calling you. Rome, I knew your mother. She was a basket weaver! Ah! Oh, oh, uh, sorry. Dozed off for a sec there. Gosh, where are we? Rexus tells me she was an old beggar woman. What became of her? Oh, Roman, she met an awful fate. Well, all I remember is that she rescued you from a burning building when you were a child. That burning building was the Armored Palace. And the beggar woman was you, Rexus! I knew it. I knew it. I always had... Feminine feelings. I mean, I love pink, I love flowers, I've always wanted to be a girl. No, no, wait, wait, that's not what I mean. You dressed as an old beggar woman and escaped from the palace with baby Rome after his parents, the king and queen of Amortia, were murdered by Forge. Oh. I, uh... My parents? Roman, you are the last of the Armorts. The last of the truly great weavers! Oh, great. My best friend is a total wanker. Um... About what I just said. The moment you unlocked the book, I knew you were the one. It was your mother, not Rexus, who cast that great spell on the book. A spell which would only yield to one with the purest of armored blood. You! They came looking for Rexus because they knew that he was the key to finding you! But how did they know about Rexus in the first place? Well, the main reason is that he wrote, uh, this book belongs to Rexus the Great, along with... Forge is a big poo-poo head on every page of this legendary book. Idiot. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. It's a lot to take in. Come on, Rome. Let's go and have a cup of tea. Oh, good idea. Besides, we need to get Lily to... What the hell is that? Lily make disguise. <sighs> you fool. Where is she? Oh, the Androbius in Canlo! Never thought we'd see one in our lifetime. Where's Lily? Kidnapped! Yeah, nice job, laddies. They would have taken her to King Forge. She is in terrible danger. If they've done anything to her. No. A delightful girl. People, let's go! You will need a Zeppelin if you are to get to Forge's palace. Stig know where Zeppelin base is! Over that mountain! <sniffs> then head west! Are you sure? Can you show us the way, Stig? Yes! Uh, Stig, that's a painting. Oh, please, Lord, just one. Just one! Stand down, civilian! What? 
I can't believe you're sticking up for a moron like him. He qualifies as a vegetable and will be protected as such. He's done. Right. Now let's find that lily girl. <sighs> Useless. Come on, Stig. Let's go and find this Zeppelin base then. <laughs> 